PAR separation plot one process of great industrial significance in air separation in an air separation plant air is separated into its various complex in an air separation plant Air is separated into its various components. The oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and rare gases I soak produce are used extensively in various industrial oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and rare gases. So producers are used extensively in various industries, research space, and the consumer goods applications. Research space and consumer goods applications. The air separation plant can be considered an example from two major fields, chemical process and cryogenics. The fields of air separation. Chemical processing and cryogenics. Cryogenics is a term applied to technology, process, and research at very low temperature. In the term applied to technology, processes, and research at very low temperature. In both chemical processes and cryogenics, thermodynamics is basic to an understanding of many phenomena and into the design and development of the process of equipment. 
Page suppression plus of many difficult design have been developed. The next figure shows an example of a simplified sketch of a type of plant that is frequently used. As is shown in this picture, air from the atmosphere is compressed to a pressure of to to air from the atmosphere compressed to a two to three megapascal As shown in this picture, a low pressure compression, a proofier. Proofier, it is the purified, particularly to remove carbon dioxide. Purified to remove. Carbon dioxide and three the air compressed again to twenty megapascal pressure cool it to the ambient temperature in the after cooler and dry it to remove the water vapor cool it to remove heat and dry it to remove vapor Water vapor. The air purified. The second compressor compressing a stage after cooling, removing heat, and air dryer removing the vapor, water vapor. At the next stage, we have a heat exchanger. The basic refrigeration is the liquefaction process is provided by two different process. In the one process, the air in the expansion engine expand. During this process, the air does work and as a result, the temperature of air is reduced. In the other refrigeration process, air passes so we have a refrigerator process here processes we have free refrigeration processes we have two at one we may use the liquid process is the provided by two different process in process the A in the expansion engine expand During this process, the air does work, so we have work, and as a result, temperature of the air reduces. In the other refrigeration process, Air passes through a throttle valve. 
that is so designed and so located that there is a substantial drop in the pressure of the air and associated with this a substantial drop of temperature and pressure drop in temperature and pressure So the dry we now receive this stage expansion engine and throttle Y. Now we receive this stage as shown in this picture the dry high pressure air inter a heat exchange. Let me write as the stage number is five is six. High pressure air enters a heat exchanger. High pressure air enters a heat exchanger. As the air flow through the heat exchanger, its temperature drop. So, also we have temperature at the some intermediate point in the heat exchanger. Part of the air is laid off and flow through the expansion engine the two stream joins the remaining air flow so we have two in the exchanger part of air is bled bled off and flow through the expansion engine Let off and flow through the engine and the second part is the remaining air flow through the rest of the heat exchange. Flow through the rest of and through the throttle valve. this line some of the flow through the heat exchanger and engine expansion are also re return to the heat exchanger and some of them as shown goes to the liquid oxygen storage here and some of also goes from the sub cooler to the the two stream join and enter the bottom of the selection column as shown in this picture which is referred to the high pressure column the function of the this selection column is to separate the air into the various components particularly distillation
distillation calions separate air component. Two streams of different composition flow from the higher high pressure column through the through tail bar to the upper column. One of these streams is oxygen rich liquid that flows from the bottom of the lower column, and the other is nitrogen rich that flows through the sub cooler. So we have an oxygen line. and nitrogen line that the separation is completed is the upper column liquid oxygen leaves from the bottom of the upper column and gaseous nitrogen leaves from the top of the column the nitrogen gas flows through the sub column and the main heat exchanger it is the transfer of heat to this cold nitrogen gas that causes the high pressure air entering the heat exchanger to become cooler. Not only is a thermodynamic analysis essential to the design of the system as a whole, but essentially every component of such system, including the compressors, the expansion engine, the purifiers and dryers, and the distillation column operates according to the principle of thermodynamics. In this separation process, we are also concerned with the thermodynamic properties of mixture and the principle and procedures by which this mixture can be separated. This is the type of problem encountered in the petroleum refining and many other chemical processes. It should also be noted that Cryogenics is particularly relevant to many aspects of the space program and a true knowledge of the thermodynamics is essential for creative and effective work in cryogenics. The next thermodynamics process is a gas turbine. 